How's it going guys? Welcome back to more Pokemon Y. As you can see, the sun is shining through the uh, the sundial here in Anastar City. And that means we can get the Mega Stones that are available to us because it is 8pm and we have until 9 to do it. So, let's get to this quickly. And yeah, we kind of want to do it quick because we only have an hour. So, first place we are going to go is to Aqua Cord City, which is the like first ever town we went to. It's not even a city, is it a town? So... Yeah, first place we were ever, well, actually, we were in Vanneville Town first, but I guess this could technically be the first place we ever went. So, pretty much what we're going to do is head all the way to Santa Loon Forest, which is up in this direction. And I got very lucky there, I should have sprayed her a pal, but anyway, Santa Loon Forest, we're going to come all the way around here. And at the very top, over in the next part, I should have sprayed her a pal actually to avoid any wild battles against scatterbugs of all things, and my team is being healed, so that's even better, but yeah, I think I might have to do one battle or two to get one of these mega stones. I know that one of them is sort of blocked off. But uh yeah, we're gonna spray repel. And then we are gonna find the mega stone that's in here. So if you're well, I'll sh tell you guys when we get to it, but you need to hurry up, even though it's only uh, two minutes past eight or eight oh two. PM, so there's not that much of a rush. Anyway, uh, let me see. I need to remember where it is, actually. I guess I missed it. Uh, yeah, I think I missed it. It's back in this direction, isn't it? So, uh, you should see a flashing light somewhere. Uh, is it all the way over in the very top over here? Uh, yes it is! So, well, I don't know how I missed this, but if you're playing Pokemon Y like I am, you're gonna get the Heracronite, which can let you get Mega Heracross. And if you're playing Pokemon Y, or this is Y, no, if you're playing Pokemon X, you'll get the uh, Pinsirite, which will let you get Mega Pinsirs. So, yeah, just, you get their version exclusives, you can only get uh, one in each version. You can only get uh, the Heracronite in Y and the Pinsirite in X. And it's sort of weird, because I believe that Heracross is available in, uh, is available in X, while this thing is, or Pinsir's available in Y, there's an item back there, I'm not going to get it though. So, next up, I actually want to heal up real quick, because we do have, uh, trainer battles. This is where the next trainer, or the next Megastone is not here in Santa Luna City, but along this route. Or on the route next to Victory Road, so... Anyway, yeah. I'm just, like, making this seem so long-winded, even though it shouldn't be, even though... We gotta get them, I guess, and, uh, I could've... Well, there's no real way to fly here, I guess, because... That's sort of... Yeah. No real way to fly to where we, where we want to go. Anyway, we are going to come all the way down here, and we're going to just surf across the water. And I believe you do need Waterfall. All this stuff is in the aftergame anyway. You can't do this until you upgrade your Mega Ring like I did, and I don't have Waterfall, so I need to teach it to a Pokemon. I guess I'll just teach it to my Greninja, because why not? I can teach it whatever I want after, so yeah, I'll just teach it Waterfall. And we can get rid of... Uh, Anything really dark pulse, I guess, because I can just reach each or surf. Well, not surf, but ice beam. Just teach them uh, TM again, anyway. So not a big deal, but uh, we'll just teach it waterfall so we can go down here. Even though I have fly to like get around, but still. Anyway, let's just drop down here on this waterfall. And I don't know if we have to do a wild or not a wild battle, but a trainer battle. I think there may be one and. Right. Okay, so we found Moltres by mistake. I was actually looking for this uh, in the episode where I go to Killu City. So, yeah, this is a legendary Pokemon I was looking for. It's level 70. And if you run into it, I can't remember. Is it 10 or 12 times? It'll be at the uh, the sea, sea monster cavern thingy. I don't even have to battle this trainer, actually. That's great. So, what we'll do is head in here. And this is the uh, Chamber of Emptiness, which is actually... Pretty empty, but a spooky plate in here for Ghost Arceus. As well as another Megastone. The Bananite, which you can use to evolve Bayonet into Mega Bayonet. Or Mega Evolve Bayonet, yeah. So, there it is. There's uh, the Bayonet. I don't even have to battle a trainer, which is great. I think there's a team up here I want to get. It's Earthquake, actually. I don't even need it. Like, so I already have two Pokemon with Earthquake, but could be good to get just for the sake of getting. So, we'll just uh, head up here. And see if we can. And if I have to battle a trainer, then I don't think I'll bother. Uh, I guess it isn't on this route. 
And how- oh, repel, we're off, right. Ugh, so stupid. Alright, Wild Side, I can- I love Side Psyduck's cry in this game, actually, that was really cool. But I should go get that item, I don't know why I, like, didn't get it. That was very stupid. Alright, I think you can get Earthquake on this room, I'm pretty sure you can get it somewhere. Oh, wait, did I- no. I don't know. I really don't. Anyway, over here we have- no, I don't want to go on the water. You have a Draco Plate, for Dragon Arceus, which not a lot of people use, because it's not very good. Alright, so, what we'll do is go to uh, Lumio City from here, and we want to go to the south, so, let's do it. And, uh, what you can do is head to the cafe where we met Dianta for the first time, so, that is somewhere near Professor Sigmore's lab, and, great, so, if you come to Lumio City after you, uh, do the whole Kilu City part. You get this message on the uh, on the holocaster telling you to go to a place called the Looker Bur uh, Bureau, which we'll be doing after we get all the Mega Stones. I want to do that first. And it started uh, that man's a real Looker. Great. It started the chapter without me wanting it to, but sure. So we'll come back and do that once. Actually, I'll probably be doing it once I get all these Mega Stones. So yeah, that'll probably be the start of the next few episodes. Anyways, is this the right place? Uh, no, that is not. Great, I don't know where this place is now. It should be near the PR uh, video place, which is beside Sycamore's lab, which I believe is back here. Uh, this might be the one. Yeah, Cafe Soleil, this is the one. All right, so, as you can see, Deonta is chilling back here. And what you can do with Deonta is actually trade a Pokemon, and you can give her any Pokemon you want. So I'm gonna give her this, uh, Bunnelby, Eartastic, as I call it. I don't know why, but we'll give her this Bunnelby. And what she'll do is give you a Ralts, and that Ralts is going to be holding the Gardevoirite. So she pretty much gives you a mega evolution, in a sense, because she's giving you a Ralts, which can evolve into Gardevoir, and it's holding the Mega Stone. So that's pretty awesome. Free Mega Stone, so why knock it, huh? So, you I mean, you get something for free. It doesn't really seem bad to me at all. Alright, so, we'll take good care of Ralts, uh, we'll probably just stay in my PC, but, sure. And, yeah, you can have that Eartastic. <laughs> Why do I call it Eartastic? Alright. Okay, so, next up, we want to go to the, uh, there's a place, the Vernal Avenue, I think it's called, right here in Lumios. I think it's here. Yes, it is, alright, sweet. So, come to Vernal Avenue, and if you go in here, this is the stone shop, so you can buy like fire stones, I think water stone, and leaf stones. You can buy those here if you want. And if you come over to this guy, he is going to sell you the Charizard art, or, well, not the Charizard art, but the, the Charizard art, why? I said that wrong again, but he'll sell you all the Mega Stones for the Kanto Evolution. So, if you manage to get your hands on all three, then uh, yeah, that's pretty much where you can get the uh, Mega Stones for those guys. Next up, we are going to go to Camper Town, because that is where the next Mega Stone for us to get is. See, I'm kind of rushing through these, to be honest, because I really like want to get them all in one sitting. It shouldn't take me long, it's been like 8 minutes, I've only gotten, uh, how many? 3? And there's still a few more to get, so... Some of, in, some of them are in really obvious places, though. Well, not obvious, but... Like, they're not. You don't have to go to too much to try and find them. Anyway, what we want to do is come up the stairs here. And right over here, we have ourselves the Mawalite. So we can get that, or use that to get Mega Mawile. Keep screwing up every time I get them. But that's how we get Mega Mawile. So, that's great. And any uh, version exclusives we see, for example, where we got the uh, Heracronite in the forest, uh, Sentinel Forest, the uh, the version exclusives don't change. So, if the Heracronite is like, yeah, if the Heracronite was there, the Pinsarite is going to be there in Pokemon X. And there is other version exclusives. There's two other version exclusives we can get. Actually, yeah, there's two more we can get after uh, that one. There's one we can get right here in Sea Lodge City. So what we want to do is go to the gym. It's actually pretty cool that there's one just chilling in the gym. And yeah, there's definitely one we want to get here, so... This is yet another version exclusive. Uh, 
well, version exclusive based mega stone, but again, it'll be in the same spot for you as it is for me. They don't change around in spots, they just, uh, they're just there. So if you come over here, you can grab yourself in Pokemon Y, the Agronite, and in Pokemon X, you're gonna get yourself the Tyranitarite. So, Mega Agron and Mega Tyranitar should be at your disposal now if you have both of those guys. And there's another one uh, in this, not in here, but around this area. I should have actually went to get it first because I kind of try to do them in order of where they are by locations. But what we're going to do now is go to the Glittering Cave and try and get ourselves uh, another one of these things. So let's hop on Hawkeye and head to uh, Amberette Town. That's a, yeah, it's Amberette Town, isn't it? I think so. I don't really go with my Kalos region map. I know the names, I just can't remember if it's the right place. If it's the right place, I'm gonna be happy with myself. It is Amber Town, nice. Alright, sweet. Cool. So, what we wanna do is head over here, and we wanna ride a Rhyhorn all the way to the Glittering Cave. It's kind of annoying that we have to, there's no quicker way to get there though, so let's get on this bad boy and uh, make our way there. And I wanna spray a repel real quick, so I don't wanna run into any, or run into any uh, like, Sand Isles or Heliolisks. Or not Heliolisks. <laughs> I keep messing that up all the time. I've called my Helioptal... I just did it there. I've called my Heliolisk Helioptal a lot. And I've just called, like, Wild Heliopthal Heliolisks. It's just... Weird. I don't know why I keep screwing that up. Alright, so... We have, uh, 45 minutes to get the rest of these. It shouldn't take me all that long. There isn't that many. Actually, how many is there? Uh, no, they're all in pretty obvious places, so that's good at least. I mean, I don't have to do too much looking. Alright, so just smash this out of the way. And the best thing about this one is it's like it's right inside the door. You don't really have to go too far into the Glittering Cave to get yourself the Kangaskhanite. So what we'll do is come in here and we'll take this first right. And we don't get a wild Pokemon, so that's good. Right here is the Kanganite. Kangaskhanite. Well, not the Kanganite. The Kangaskhanite. I just called it a Kangaskhanite like two seconds ago. I don't know why I got it mixed up, but there's your Kangaskhanite. So there's your uh, other Mega Stone. And what we want to do now is fly to Geosense Town. So again, we'll use Hawkeye and head over here. And what we want to do is go into the Reflecting Cave. And I don't like the Reflecting Cave that much, but. It shouldn't take me too long at all to, uh, to get this thing. So, I'm looking at my list, I have a list of, uh, where they all are in a notepad document, just so I know where I'm going. I don't think there's that many left, so that's great. And, uh, yeah, we have a few powerful Pokemon coming up. I think this is, like, one of the best ones we can get. Well, it's personally one of my, like, favorite Megas, I guess. It's... I probably should do, like, a list of my favorite Megas. I know people will probably ask me to do that now, but... Yeah, it's like, it's one of my, uh, favorite Megas. Honestly, I like it a lot. And, uh, what we want to do is head down this way. And if you guys remember where we got, uh, Gyro Ball, whenever we were coming through, that's not the right way. It's around, uh, down here again. Yeah, I don't like the Glittering Cave that much. Or, no, this isn't... The Reflection Cave. I don't like the Reflection Cave that much, but... Oh, well. Get out of my way. Please. <laughs> okay. So... All the way up this way. Uh, we want to not go that way, we want to go over here. No, we do want to go that way. <laughs> we was right the first time, we want to go up here. And we want to go over this way, and down these stairs, and down these stairs too. And I want to like avoid any like wild Pokemon that are like hanging in from the ceiling, so... Good stuff, avoided them all in here. And, not there, that's where Gyro Ball was, I don't know why I turned there. All the way around here, I think you may have seen it, it is sparkling right here. In the Reflecting Cave, we have ourselves the Alakazite. Or, yeah, Alakazite, that's how it's pronounced. It's getting Mecha Alakazam. So, that's honestly one of my favorites. It's not my favorite, but one of my favorites. I have a very hard time choosing what my favorite Mecha Evolution is, actually, because I find them all to be pretty good. Anyway, I'm just going to get out here as quick as I can. And the next place we want to go to is... I've already shown where to get, uh... The Ampharosite in... Uh, an episode. It's the Azorbe episode. So if you want to know where to get the Ampharosite, 
go back and watch that episode because that's where I get it. Next one we can get is at Lavier City, I think. I'm pretty sure that's where the next one is. So let's head there. And yeah, we don't have a lot left actually. I think we only have uh, four. We only have, yeah, about four left. So we have plenty of time. Uh, we still have another 45, well, 40, about 44 minutes. Anyway, as you can see, this one's like right in front of your eyes. So there's the Medicham. I, the Medicham is actually a really good mega. Has a really good mega evolution. So I definitely recommend uh, grabbing that. I think I might like try and make one for my Wi-Fi team, or make like one for Wi-Fi because it's a good Pokemon. Next up, Dendemil Town. And I think we only have one more version exclusive left now, actually, that we got the T-Tarite, or I got the T-Tarite, the Tyranitarite and the uh, Agronite. The reason I said t is because I have t written down on my uh, notepad document, so I know we are, which one it's like. I just shortened it instead of writing Tyranitar. Alright, so this one is on Route 16, I believe. And no, I don't want to sky battle you. Oh, she's from Mr. Alton City. Cool. Alright, so down here, you get yourself the Houndoomite if you're playing Y. If you're playing X, you get yourself the Manetricite, or Manicite, whatever its name is. And yeah, Mega Evolve Houndoom or Manetric to whichever is your preference, I guess, whichever one you want. And what we'll do now is head to the Frost Cavern. So now we only have two more to get. I think after we get this last, well actually no, once we get this one we only have two left, so three more to go. And the problem with this one is you actually have to go deep into the frost cavern, like to the very end I guess. So hopefully I don't get lost and uh, screw up, because I know I screwed up a lot when going through the frost cavern <laughs> when I was uh, playing through it, I just like slipped and slide all over the place, but up this way and over here. And I think I remember my way to it. I hopefully do. Alright, so up here. And down around here. And down and around. And sorry if you can hear any talking in the background, because someone's talking outside my room. And, wow, okay, that's quick. Uh, <laughs> it's over this way. And this is the wrong way, because we want to go up and around. So, over here. And, uh, actually, this one's actually kind of easy to get. I don't know why... Made a big song and dance out of it. It's actually rather easy to get to. I don't know why I sort of went down that way, but over here and across and down, and there we go. So, yeah, I just made like a big deal out of this thing, like not being able to go through Frost Cavern or like not knowing my way through it, even though it's very, very simple. Anyway, all the way down here to the very end, right behind the Obama Snow is a Scizorite. And yeah, I don't know why it's behind the Obama Snow, but sure. I don't know why it's in the Frost Cavern either, but there's a sizzle right. So if you want to get that, then, uh, yeah, that's good. And down here we go. And we're just gonna get out. So we only have two more to get, which is good. We're almost finished here, and it only took me about 20 minutes, which is awesome. So, very short. It shouldn't take you that long. Just follow this, like, guy. Don't follow it, follow it like that, where I was, like, running sideways and stuff, and screwing it up. But, yeah. That's everything. Alright, so next up, Coraway Town. And yeah, we only have, uh... I just, I'm just looking over the list. I got the Gardevoir, right? I got uh, the Alkazite. I got the Agronite. I got the Vanetite. I got the Heracronite. I got the Houndomite. I got the Kangaskhanite. I got the Mawalite. Got the, yeah, okay. Just making sure. Just wanted to make sure I was doing it right. <laughs> Alright, so... What we want to do is come all the way up here to this waterfall, and right here we have ourselves the Gyarados site. To get Mega Gyarados, which you actually saw in our journey, because Lissandre had one. Okay, so, now that we've done that, we have one more to go, and we are actually going to fly to Victory Road, or the Pokemon League, and go back into Victory Road. I actually have a few trainers to avoid in there, I think. So, yeah, I gotta... Remember who I avoided. Alright, so... This is the final Mega Stone for us to get, which is great. Got it in sort of record time, I guess it didn't take me that long to find them. Which is good. I do. I did know where they were, I did have a list, so... It's not as if I went in here, like, looking for stuff, I didn't know what to get. I wanted to make sure I knew where they all are, so... I wouldn't waste my time by looking for... ever. And then, uh, waste your time 
by also looking forever as well. Okay, so I want to go around this way, and I just want to avoid these trainers because I didn't battle my go quick. There we go. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Alright. Uh, battle you. Uh, great. This short way, is it around this way? Did I battle this trainer up here? I did. Good. It's always good to know when you battle the trainers. Alright, so down here, I don't know if I battled you. I don't think so. But, good. Right where we want to be, I think. Yes, we are. Very much so. Alright, so, over here. And, if you break down this wall here with Rock Smash, if you have Rock Smash, unfortunately for me. I don't. But, uh, Rock Smash is a TM. So, you can, uh, just get rid of it straight away, which is good. So, we'll just teach it to Tyrantrum again. Now, I'll get rid of, uh, Stone Edge. I can just reteach Stone Edge, because I got the TM for that. So, let's get rid of that. I could get rid of any move I have, actually, except for Crunch. Because I don't have, like, there's no Crunch TM, but I have TM for Dragon Claw, I have the TM for Earthquake. Actually, I don't have the TM for Earthquake, so I can get rid of that, but... Yeah, <laughs> alright. Let's smash this. And, finally, on our Mega Stone list, we have the... Garchomp Eye. So, there you go, guys. That is where you can get all the Mega Stones in the game. And... If you're playing Pokemon X, then you'll get certain version exclusives in the same locations that I've shown, just to let you guys know, just in case you're thinking, oh, well, this is a different Mega Stone, it's somewhere else. It's not. It's in the exact same spot. It's just going to be different to the one that I found. It's going to be the version exclusive. So, with all that said and done, I'm going to wrap it up here. And in the next episode of Pokemon Y, we are going to get started on the Looker missions here in Lumio City. So, well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. Hopefully this has helped you get all the Mega Stones you were looking for. And just one thing as well, if you want to save up a lot of money, uh, you want like if you want to buy the stones, the Charizard right, Y, the Venusaurite, what or not Y, but Venusaurite and the Blastoise, whichever one you selected or which one you didn't select, that guy is going to sell you all the stones here in Lumio City in the Stone Emporium. So pretty much just go to Restaurant Luau and do that. And uh, sell all the ball mushrooms you get. If you get more than 16, you're guaranteed 100,000 Poké Dollars, which is great. And, uh, yeah, he also use that as a way to train up your Pokémon. I did a video on that, too, so... Yeah, it's a good, helpful tip, too, I guess. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped you out, and I'll see you guys next time.